We're becoming a society where we almost think that this is an option, um, and unfortunately, it's not. Ron Vay Martinson is a fourth generation licensed funeral director and embalmer at Martinson Funeral Home in Sutton's Bay. It's very vitally important uh, for them to say goodbye, um, to pay their last respects to their loved one, and we temporarily halt and suspend and preserve the body where it's safe, secure, and sanitary for them to do so. It's not dark, we're not in a cellar, there's not cobwebs, there's not <laughs> bats flying around. From start to finish, Martinson preps the deceased to be presentable for their loved ones at the funeral. They, they get their bathing here and it's, you know, regular shampoo and conditioner and soap. Martinson also uses a pigmented chemical which helps make the body look more presentable from the inside out. This is part of the solution that helps uh, sanitize, but as well as it, it just happens to have some pigment and color to help um, counteract um, it, the, the paleness and the bluishness and the grayishness that a body normally undergoes through upon death. She also applies the makeup. Some, some just are just peaceful and, and natural looking anyways, and then some, because of the medications or, or whatever they were suffering from, it does show on the face, like some gauntness or whatnot. Some of those cases can take me hours, if not over a period of a couple of days. Like jaundice will be yellow, or somebody's um, suffering from say maybe leukemia, sometimes it'll turn, their, their skin will turn green after they've passed away. Though her career is just getting started, Martinson said she has already had her fair share of odd requests. Oh, she goes, I want to look like when I was 60. You can do that, turn back 20 years. I said, no problem. <laughs> While some of Martinson's work can be a bit tedious, it can also be a bit dangerous. This is my one heck of a magnet. And that's what I put out over the defibrillator so I know where it's at and I'm not going to get shocked. It's pretty much, you know, we have to have the same stuff as a beauty salon. And so, you know, there's, these are products that you'll find at any drugstore. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's, it's things that you and I use. And, and if it's good enough for, for us, then it's, it's obviously good enough for somebody's loved one. While some may find her job a bit creepy, Martinson said most of her work is actually with those who are still living. We'll put them on there, we'll send it to the company and they'll make a, a thummy jewelry for them, so I keep that in here. The biggest thing is helping the families transition through that loss, through their loss. Because honestly, when we pass away, we're not going to care. For Lenoir County, we're so small, I pretty much know 80 to 85 percent of the clients that we serve. That emotionally is tough, very, very tough. We're human, we grieve like everybody else. I mean, there are times when I'm just sobbing and it's a tough day at work and I go home and it's hard to decompress from, you know, that's your friend, that's your, or your loved one. That's, that's, that is the hardest part. But definitely my, again, the driving motivational force behind what I do is again to give that person back to their family even if it's just briefly.